Hey, so what's going on guys? Chris here, taking a look at one of those Doom multiplayer weapons today, and I'll be going over the combat shotgun, giving the pros, cons, information, load loadouts, and all of that other stuff too. The combat shotgun functions just like it does in single player, and fires off high velocity buckshot with a narrow spread. Each shot deals a high amount of damage to anyone close up, and of course less damage is dealt the further away you are to your target, down to some of the pellets from your blast missing as they spread through the air. Your secondary firing option lets you load the shotgun up with high explosive mortar shot shells, and these can blow up targets further away as they land. The shotgun has a maximum ammo count of 40, though you'll spawn into the match each time with 10 shots less. You'll also have to reach rank 11 to use the gun, so you won't have access to it straight from the start. Although some might think that the weapon acts the same as the super shotgun, they both function very differently to each other, even though they are both close range weapons, as they both have their own strengths and weaknesses. Now, as for the primary firing mode, the damage dealt by each shotgun blast depends on a few different factors. How much of the target is within those circular crosshairs when the gun goes off, and the range of your enemy. As the closer you are to them, the easier it is to land a direct hit, as more pellets will land on them. In close quarters, the shotgun can be very deadly, with a direct shot typically dealing up to 45 damage, depending on both range and your own aim. The shotgun operates in a pump action mode, meaning that there's going to be a slight delay after every shot, though this delay is much shorter than the super shotgun, with it only lasting round about half a second in between each blast. And this lets you fire quicker, and also means that missing your opponent in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight is less of a problem, as it's not going to take all that long until your next shot would be ready to blast them away. Another factor about the combat shotgun is the more narrow spread of pellets, as you might notice that the circular crosshairs that you'll be aiming with on the screen are a tad smaller and more rounded than the super shotgun's wider, more oval shape. This shows us that there's going to be less deviation on the spread of your pellets, thus giving the weapon slightly better range, allowing for more of those pellets to land on your target, and the more they connect with them, the higher the damage. And although the combat shotgun blast can't dish out those super high values that are possible with the double barrel, the tighter, more concentrated spread of the combat shotgun lets it perform better with more precision at slightly longer distances. With all that said, the combat shotgun is by no means a long range weapon, as you'll quickly start to notice that the weapon damage is getting lower and lower the further away you are to your target. And beyond medium ranges, it's not going to be very accurate at all, making the combat shotgun a bad choice to whip out. This is where the weapon mod comes into play, as the secondary firing option lets you swap over your typical buckshot over to something with a bit more bang. Using explosive mortar shells, you can essentially turn your shotgun into a grenade launcher, as each shot that flies through the air can travel further and direct all of the damage into a small area once it lands. The explosion is triggered by impact and only goes off once it hits the surface, or an unlucky enemy player. The damage caused by the shot deals a similar kind of damage to the shotgun's primary mode, with a direct hit on a target inflicting 50 damage, and nearby splash damage dealing a lower amount, but enough to take out a small chunk of health, providing that the blast goes off next to your opponent. The gun's optics zoom in slightly when you're using the weapon mod, giving you a slight advantage at aiming at players over longer distances, though it still requires some leading to actually hit someone, as the explosive shot doesn't have a very high velocity, meaning it's going to travel slower through the air, and drop slightly over longer distances. Aiming above your target's head and allowing for that travel time by shooting slightly in front of them is usually going to get that shot to land in the right place, and the nearer they are to the blast, the bigger the impact. It's not the greatest thing to use up close, as if you miss a shot, the shell will probably just fly past them, dealing no damage at all. You could fire the shell off at an enemy's feet, though it would probably be more effective to swap back over to the shotgun's pellets, as this will ensure that you're going to deal more damage easier, plus the rate of fire will be a bit faster than the weapon mod too with there being a longer delay in between each shot. It's best using the secondary fire on hostile players at distances that the buckshot can't reach very well, or if your enemy is standing right next to a wall, as the blast caused by the explosion upon hitting the wall is likely going to help deal damage if they're nearby to that blast. Now, because the combat shotgun is mainly effective at closer ranges, a good secondary weapon could be one that helps out at these longer distances such as the Vortex Rifle, as this will allow your weapons to cater for all ranges and situations. You could also choose something like the Heavy Assault Rifle, Plasma Rifle or Burst Rifle with a quick rate of fire, letting you essentially finish off of the players that have been damaged by the shotgun and are trying to escape by moving out of the shotgun's effective range. These options can all help out at longer distances too, though none of them are going to be quite as damaging as the Vortex Rifle's high-powered beam. So if you really want to maximise your close ranged effectiveness and turn yourself into a CQC assassin, you can combine the combat shotgun with the super shotgun, switching after every shot that you fire. 
The Super Shotgun Slow Reload is countered by the swap of the weapons, as it'll automatically reload every time you switch them over, and so every other shot has the potential of dealing massive amounts of damage, tearing away at health and armour in close quarters. This combination is extremely powerful up close, but you might have to practice a bit alternating your weapons after every shot. This loadout does leave you vulnerable against enemies further away too, though using the teleporter you can quickly reach your opponents and reach these longer ranges, and blast them away with both of those shotguns, with devastating results. So the combat shotgun is a good, close quarters weapon that deals a decent amount of damage, which is lower than the super shotty, but can be fired quicker with slightly better range. It's a great option to take on targets up close, and can be even useful further away with that secondary firing option too. The pump action nature of the gun lets you swiftly knock out chunks of health and armour, and providing that you can line up the reticle with your target, you can kill opponents very quickly. So that's all I've got for you in this one, make sure you subscribe to see more Doom weapon guides along with loads of other things too. Smack that like button if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in that next one.